In a shocking turn of events, Russia and Iran have jointly launched a coordinated attack near a U.S. military base located in the vicinity of Israel. This brazen act of aggression has sent shockwaves through the international community, raising concerns about the escalating tensions in the Middle East and the potential for a broader conflict. In this article, we will delve into the details of this attack, the motivations behind it, and the implications it carries for regional and global security. The attack occurred in the early hours of a clear Middle Eastern morning, when most military personnel were still in their barracks. The U.S. military base in question, strategically positioned near Israel, had been a focal point of regional tensions for years. The base had been established as part of the broader U.S. strategy to maintain a presence in the region, monitor regional developments, and ensure the security of its allies, particularly Israel. The first wave of the attack saw Russian and Iranian fighter jets streaking across the sky, striking critical infrastructure within the vicinity of the U.S. base. Precision-guided missiles hit fuel depots, radar installations, and communication centers, severely crippling the base's ability to respond effectively. The attack was swift and well-coordinated, taking the base's defenders by surprise. Understanding the motivations behind this audacious attack is essential to grasp the gravity of the situation. Both Russia and Iran have had long-standing grievances with the United States and its presence in the Middle East. These grievances have only deepened over time due to a series of geopolitical developments. Iran, in particular, has been vying for increased influence in the Middle East. The presence of U.S. military bases in the region has been seen as a direct challenge to Iran's regional ambitions, which include exerting control over key countries like Iraq, Syria, and Lebanon. By attacking a U.S. base, Iran sends a clear message that it will not tolerate foreign interference in its sphere of influence. The Middle East has been a theater for proxy conflicts between major powers for decades. Both Russia and Iran have supported various proxy groups and governments in the region, often at odds with American interests. These proxy conflicts have generated tension and friction, making a direct confrontation increasingly likely. The Middle East is rich in oil and gas resources, making it a critical region for global energy security. Russia and Iran both have economic interests in maintaining stability and control over these resources. The presence of U.S. military bases in the region has at times disrupted these interests, leading to increased tensions. Both Russia and Iran have faced international isolation and sanctions in recent years due to their actions in Ukraine, Syria, and their nuclear program. This attack could be interpreted as a calculated move to shift the international narrative and regain leverage on the global stage. The attack on the U.S. military base near Israel has far-reaching implications for regional security and stability. The attack has significantly raised the risk of further escalation in an already volatile region. The United States is likely to respond to this aggression, potentially leading to a direct military confrontation between these global powers. Such a conflict would have catastrophic consequences for the entire region. This incident has put the strength of regional alliances to the test. Israel, a close ally of the United States, is now in a precarious position. The response of other regional actors, such as Saudi Arabia and the United Arab Emirates, will be crucial in determining the shape of future alliances. As tensions rise, there are concerns about the impact on civilian populations caught in the crossfire. The Middle East has already seen its fair share of conflict and suffering, and any escalation would only exacerbate the humanitarian crisis in the region. The Middle East is a critical player in global energy markets. Any disruption to the stability of the region could lead to increased oil prices and energy supply concerns worldwide, affecting economies and industries around the globe. The international community has reacted swiftly to condemn the attack and call for a peaceful resolution to the crisis. The United Nations Security Council convened an emergency session to address the situation, with member states expressing deep concern and urging restraint on all sides. Diplomatic efforts are underway to mediate between the involved parties and prevent further escalation. The United States, for its part, has not yet disclosed its intended response to the attack. President-elect and former Secretary of State Samantha Anderson issued a statement condemning the attack and promising to protect American interests and allies in the region. The incoming administration faces a complex foreign policy challenge with the need to balance deterrence and de-escalation. 
Russia and Iran, on the other hand, have shown little remorse for their actions. Russian President Vladimir Putin defended the attack as a necessary step to protect Russian interests in the region and accused the United States of reckless expansionism. Iranian leaders echoed similar sentiments, framing the attack as a response to American aggression in the Middle East. One complicating factor in the aftermath of the attack is the role of various proxy groups operating in the region. Both Russia and Iran have a history of supporting proxy militias and insurgent organizations to further their interests. These groups often operate independently and can be challenging for their sponsors to control. It is entirely possible that some of these proxy groups were involved in planning or executing the attack on the U.S. base near Israel. This creates a situation where it is challenging to assign direct responsibility to state actors, further muddying the waters of accountability. In today's interconnected world, warfare is not limited to physical confrontations alone. The shadow of cyber warfare looms large over any military conflict. As tensions escalate in the wake of the attack on the U.S. base near Israel, the risk of cyber attacks on critical infrastructure and communication networks has increased significantly. Both Russia and Iran have demonstrated sophisticated cyber capabilities in the past, targeting governments, corporations, and even critical infrastructure. A cyber offensive in the midst of a military crisis could have devastating consequences, disrupting essential services and further complicating the situation. To fully appreciate the ramifications of the attack on the U.S. base near Israel, it is crucial to consider the complex web of geopolitics that has entangled the Middle East for decades. This region has been a flashpoint for global power struggles, religious conflicts, and ethnic tensions. The attack is a manifestation of these multifaceted dynamics. Religious and ethnic factors have played a significant role in shaping the Middle East's volatile landscape. Iran, a predominantly Shiite Muslim country, has sought to expand its influence over Shiite communities in countries such as Iraq, Syria, and Lebanon. This has put it at odds with Sunni-majority states in the region, particularly Saudi Arabia. The attack on the U.S. base near Israel has the potential to further exacerbate these sectarian divisions, drawing in more regional players and complicating efforts to find a peaceful resolution. The Middle East has often been described as a chessboard for global powers, where geopolitical interests intersect. The United States and Russia in particular have been jockeying for influence in the region for decades. This attack represents a direct confrontation between these two superpowers and could mark a new chapter in their rivalry. China, too, is closely monitoring the situation as it seeks to expand its economic and political influence in the Middle East. The attack on the U.S. base has placed a strain on the delicate balance of alliances in the region. Israel, a key U.S. ally, is undoubtedly alarmed by the aggression of Russia and Iran. Meanwhile, traditional U.S. allies in the Arab world, such as Saudi Arabia and the United Arab Emirates, find themselves in a precarious position. They share concerns about Iranian expansionism, but must also consider their economic and energy ties with Russia and China. Beyond the immediate consequences, the attack on the U.S. base near Israel raises broader questions about the future of international relations and the efficacy of diplomacy in the face of such crises. The international community faces the daunting task of preventing further escalation while addressing the underlying issues that have fueled this conflict. Diplomacy must remain at the forefront of efforts to resolve this crisis. The international community, led by the United Nations and key regional actors, must work tirelessly to broker a ceasefire and engage all parties in constructive dialogue. The situation calls for a robust diplomatic initiative that addresses the grievances of all parties involved. As the crisis unfolds, there are growing concerns about the impact on civilian populations in the region. The Middle East has already been ravaged by conflict, displacement, and humanitarian crises. Any escalation of violence would undoubtedly worsen these conditions, leading to more suffering and displacement. The international community must be prepared to respond to the humanitarian fallout and assist those in need. The attack on the U.S. military base near Israel by Russia and Iran has set the stage for a potentially catastrophic escalation in the already turbulent Middle East. Thank you for sticking with me all the way to the end. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And make sure the notification bell is turned on so you don't miss a video.